The tractrix is a curve sometimes called the trajectory curve or equitangential curve to which a straight line AB of length A is always a tangent at A as B moves along the x-axis from minus infinity to plus infinity. The term is sometimes loosely used to describe the solid formed by rotation of the curve about the x-axis. The tractrix is the answer to a question asked by the Frenchman Claude Perrault, who lived in the 17th century. Perrault isn't a giant in the annals of mathematics. In fact, he trained as a doctor and gained a minor reputation as an architect and an anatomist before dying in unusual style as a result of an infection he caught while dissecting a camel. His greatest claim to fame, aside from his connection with the Tractrix, is that he was the brother of the author of Cinderella and Puss in Boots. In 1676, at about the time Gottfried Leibniz was doing groundbreaking work on the calculus, Perrault placed his pocket watch on the middle of a table, pulled the end of its chain along the edge of the table and asked, what is the shape of the curve traced by the watch. The first known solution was given in a letter to a friend in 1693 by Christian Huygens, who also coined the name Tractrix from the Latin tractus for something that is pulled along. The corresponding German name is Hund curve or Hound curve, which makes sense if you imagine the path a dog might follow on its leash as its master walks away. The tractrix can also be found by taking the involute of a catenary. Imagine a horizontal bar held at the vertex of the catenary and the point of contact marked as P. When the bar is rolled against the catenary without slipping, the path of P is a tractrix. It's described by the parametric equations x equals 1 over the hyperbolic cosine of T y equals t minus the hyperbolic tangent of t. The surface of revolution of the tractrix is the pseudosphere, and you can find a video about the pseudosphere on this channel. The pseudosphere is the classic model for hyperbolic geometry, and one possible three-dimensional analogue for the shape of the four-dimensional spacetime in which we live.